a Ghanaian business and government delegation from the environmental sector, have paid a one-week visit to Sweden in search of waste management solutions. The delegates included representatives of Zoom Lion Ghana Limited and the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation. The event was organized by the Ghana Sweden Chamber of Commerce, an organization that seeks to bring businesses in Ghana and Sweden together. As part of the visit, there was a tour to some recycling and waste management centers to have a view of waste management technologies and innovations in Sweden. There was also a forum to address various waste management issues. About 40 companies, including Scania, Sweco, Renetech, and Greenwater, participated in the forum. The co-founder of the Ghana Sweden Chamber of Commerce, Pearl Delali Dology, explains why they chose to come to Sweden. You and I know our problems in waste management. And uh, in this whole world, there's no country that has the best solution to waste management as Sweden. So we approached one of the major stakeholders and we sold Sweden to them. They bought into the idea and here we are. Pearl is certain that the delegates are satisfied with the waste management solutions they've seen in Sweden. I think it's been very imp they've been very much impressed. They didn't know Sweden has these technologies. They've been traveling around the world, but they think that Sweden is ahead when it comes to waste management in the whole world. And that makes me feel very, very good. The managing director of Sum Lion Ghana, Florence Labby, is keen on finding solutions to manage PET bottles, which has become a challenge to handle in Ghana. The PET bottles, which has become a, a huge menace to us in Accra because they all end up in the sea. And the attempts made at um, recycling is just shredding and then exporting. And uh, we, we heard that there's a solution in Sweden. So for me, amongst all the solutions I'm seeking, my biggest uh, need is the PET, how to address that PET. While some countries have banned the use of plastics, Labi is of the view that Ghana cannot afford to do the same. For other countries that have banned plastics, they have other alternatives and they, they, they may have uh, many industries, but we cannot afford to kill our industries. So we can look at the friendly, environmentally friendly forms of the plastic, but not to ban it altogether because those in that industry also provide job opportunities and provide other solutions. What we need to do is to be responsible in the management. Presenting the operations of Zoom Lion at the forum, Labi tells the audience that waste is a resource in Africa. We know that Africa has a lot of resources and there is a question mark. What is the next biggest resource? And the next biggest resource is waste. This is it. It looks so messy, but it is gold up there. She throws more light on Zoom Lion's One Household, One Bin campaign that is aimed at managing waste in Ghana. We are promoting the One Household, One Bin for the campaign. And for us, we believe that if every household has a bin, nobody will carry waste from the house to the city. Uh, the bin is the first step of providing an environmental solution. Living Owusu, the chief director at the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, says that government is introducing studies on climate change and sanitation into the business school curricula to help fight waste in Ghana. She explains why the attention has been shifted to target children. Attitudes die hard. When you are grown, sometimes you are set in your ways. It becomes difficult for you to change. But as a child, you are taught not to litter. When you grow up, you won't litter. Indeed, when you go to the secondary schools where there are street rules, no littering, you don't find littering. But if you are allowed to litter till you become like me, then it becomes difficult to, to stop it. The president of the Chamber of Commerce, Isaac Van der Poy, says that the discussion on waste management will not just end in Sweden. The next, the next will be to bring a delegation from Sweden on the same subject, waste management. And we've met so much people around here with so many uh, innovations. 
So we are looking at that very, very seriously, and it must be soon. He stresses the Chamber's readiness to collaborate with any business that wants to operate either in Ghana or in Sweden. For us, we want to see a very strong Swedish presence in Ghana and vice versa. So any business at all that is interested in looking at Ghana, we are all for it. The organizers believe that this event is one of the many collaborations that Ghana will have with Sweden. They plan to organize a different event for the education sector. Seymour Boyne reporting.